Fremantle v Western Bulldogs. Western Bulldogs, M. Boyd, one vote. Fremantle, G. Ibbotson, two votes. Fremantle, L. Neal, three votes. Geelong v Melbourne. Geelong, S. Menegola, one vote. Geelong, J. Selwood, two votes. Geelong, P. Dangerfield, three votes. So halfway through the year, you get a bit of an indication about where you're sitting uh, in the scheme of things and if you're a chance or, or if, you're, if you're not. Um, and that probably stems from the amount of clubs that are interested in having a chat to you, uh, interviewing you, and then obviously if you get a letter to draft camp. When I was drafted, you could be, you could be drafted at 17. And there's a few in my year that were a bit younger. Trent Cotchin was another. So we were a year younger than everyone else that was being drafted. Paddy Dangerfield from the Adelaide Footy Club. Oh, it's an exciting story. Isn't around it? This, this guy is Mark Rusciuto's reward. I want to feel that you want it. I want to feel by the morning. I want to feel that you want it. Oh, let me feel what you are.
is tonight officially a Geelong player, having been traded by the Crows to his club of choice. Tom Wren joins us now live in the studio with the details. And Tom, the Cats have wasted no time in showing off their star recruit. Pretty keen to show off their shiny new prize, weren't they, Kate? No doubt about that. Only hours after the deal was done, Dangerfield, the man himself, was at his new club addressing the media alongside his coach, Chris Scott. And Dangerfield was talking about his relief at getting to the club based so near to his hometown of Moggs Creek and of course his family. Obviously it's been a, a whirlwind couple of months um, but certainly now that it, it's been done it's a, a fair amount of relief. It's combining the two things I love which is family and obviously football has been a huge part of my life so I'm lucky enough that the Geelong Footy Club's 45 minutes from home. Every time 